Hey, this is John and Andrea, and today we're going to put together a prefabricated chicken coop. As you've known in most of our videos, we make most of our coops ourselves in cages. However, we recognize that some of you don't have the skills or the tools to make your own coops. So when the people at Ava Tuvin, yeah, funny name, but they make chicken coops and rabbit hutches <laughs> and other cages for animals. When they contacted us and said, would you do a review on one of our chicken coops? We said, sure, that'd be wonderful. So that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna point out things that we like, things that we don't like, and maybe help you choose a coop. So the disclaimer, we accept no money from product manufacturers to do reviews. And as such, we give honest reviews, so you get to see and hear the honest truth from us. We don't even take the kickbacks from the affiliate sales. So there is going to be a link in this video where you can go to their website and order. Uh, but we ask the manufacturer that if they're going to move any money around, that they give it back to you. There will be a discount code to save you a little money. All right, let's put this thing together. They say it'll take about 45 minutes. We'll see. So joining us today is Crank and Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Vicky is one of our apprentices, and she's gonna be helping us out. So we're just gonna get these things unboxed and see what's inside. It does come in two boxes. So that was 37 pounds, and this one is 48 pounds. This is the AIR 27 pet hutch this is the drawing on the box of what it's going to look like it says it'll hold two to four chickens we plan to use it as a chicken brooder for moms and babies so word about Ava Tuvin they have been manufacturing chicken coops since the year 2000 oh, got it. Uh, so their stuff is made with real wood uh, one thing is, I want, to, I want to point this out on the packaging. So, what they just pulled out was all lined with styrofoam. Yeah. And sometimes you go to buy something and it's dented uh, oh, the, in it's shipping. Got, it's got paper in between, it's got um, the bubble wrap, and then it had styrofoam on the sides too. So... so they do manufacture in China, but they have four warehouses in America. Oh, it looks like it's cut underneath. In addition to the link that we're going to put on this video, you can also buy this at uh, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, and Wayfair. During our unpacking of the first box, we did find a break in the wood on two edges. easily fixable by unscrewing, gluing, and clamping, so... It looks like it split when they put the screw in. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll fix that. This could have been damaged in shipping, never know, but it's gonna be easily fixable. We're just gonna put some glue on here. We're gonna put some in here, we're gonna clamp it, and I'm gonna use a little bit of a, a broader screw instead of the little one that came with it. Okay, glued and clamped, five minute repair, and we'll let that dry while we unpack and assemble the rest. This is one of the last pieces to go on, so got time to dry. This is the instruction manual, how to put it together. It's very nicely laid out. The big pictures, you can actually read the words. One of the features of this coupe and the reason we selected it uh, is it has these heavy duty wheels that are on the back and so you can move it around so if you don't ever let your chickens out you don't have a coop that stays in one place you can easily you know, pick it up and roll it around the yard uh, and that way they can always have fresh grass so we're very excited about this because we move ours around quite often so the first assembly there's four pieces the two sides and then the two gabled roof sides and the holes are already pre-drilled, which is really nice. So Andrea holds it, Vicky screws it in. 
if you use a drill like we are to screw it in, uh, put that on the lowest setting so you don't strip the wood out. There's also these little tabs that the side fits into so you know you're putting it in the right spot. That's very convenient. So one of the things that is not real clear in the instructions is attaching the ramp. Now, there's this piece down here, and its purpose is to hold the bottom of the ramp so that when you lift it off the ground to move it, that this doesn't get caught in the earth. So this has to get attached, get attached up here. There are not pre-drilled holes, but take note, you can't center it like you probably want to. You've got to put it over on the side so that it will fit this black tray. So I'm going to kind of pre-position this and I'm going to make some marks and then we're going to have to drill some holes and put in the screws. Okay. I use the drill but I'm going to finish it off by hand. It's not a lot of wood to work with right here. There might be more. I'll come down. down. And see, I still don't have that over enough. It's got to go all the way to the edge. Probably should put the ramp on last. Don't be like us. Put the ramp on last. You don't ever have to open yeah. to open that. So that just screws in. There's already a nut that's inside the wood. She's going to screw it till it's tight. Interesting. And stop when this part is vertical that's good so now you can pull it out and, and then it just hangs keep pulling probably a little tight there now it hangs there you go now when you want to close it lift it up and give it a push Ta -da. interesting touchless chickens okay so this is the back end Yes, right, where the so lay this box will be is. the nest box area. Yes. So there's just three pieces. So now we need to attach the wheels. I'm going to rotate this. It's already pre-drilled. Nice. These go on the side, so when you lift it, it'll touch the ground. So we're just dropping the bolts through. Putting on the nuts. So we got the wheels on. These are heavy duty. I'm liking this. Uh, these are not cheap wheels. So it lifts and it rolls. And I like the pre drills. So, the next step there is a floor to the nest box, and that just drops in. Just drop it in. There we go. There right. we go. Now, Goodness. we have another pre-made coop in the back that we use, and it has these dividers, and I think we've pitched them because they we never did. would stay up. But I do like this but because... But that one didn't have a thing in the back, though, either. Yeah, so there's a channel here, channel on the bottom, and it's wedged in the front, so it's, it's hard to move, although we're talking about chickens, so they'll be able to knock it down. So the nest box lid, they just have drop pin hinges. And this slide. slide. I'm going to show you one issue with this back lid where they lay the eggs. And I'm going to show you how to fix it in just a couple minutes. These hinges, they come pre-installed on the wood and they're drop hinges. So it's very easy to put together. You just line up, you line up these pins into the holes and slide it in okay and you're thinking great that's easy however you pick it up you work it you pick oh it just fell off okay and now you're going to get angry because you're spending all your time putting this thing back together and it's it's not the simplest thing to line up easy fix now that this is unscrewed, take it, throw it in your supply box, do another project sometime in the future with it. Okay, so we're going to replace it with just a regular hinge. It doesn't come apart. And this is a two and a half inch hinge, and it should all fit in the same holes. 
there it is if you don't like the color difference you can buy two that are the same but you only need one and now it still works it is not going to come off my word to the manufacturer is replace those drop pins with real hinges have them pre-drilled so all you have to do is just screw it in probably cheaper than those drop pins so open that up and show the prop rod just in case you need both hands while getting eggs getting both your eggs there now this is plastic it's actually what our greenhouse is made out of it's like a corrugated clear plastic so we'll keep it warm and dry it's supposed to be uv free uh, and it has these runoff channels for water so it is not angled that just goes on top pre-drills mm -hmm. This has five doors. So between this one, that one, this one, this one, and the one in the back, <laughs> it allows a lot of easy access into the coop, which some of these smaller coops you need a lot of access to. If you ever had to grab a chick from that back corner and you didn't have space to get them, it's very frustrating because it's hard to crawl into this one. It is very hard, but it is easier to lift then, which we're about to put on the lift bar. And the main roof. And the main roof, after the lift bar. So we're going to install the lift bar in the front. They drilled two holes here, but I don't think that's what it's for because they're too big to accept the screw. It just slips right in. So we're going to drill new holes. So I'm going to put it about here. And just make some. I didn't make much of a hole, so I'm gonna. But I didn't make a dent in it. So now that I've taken it off, I know exactly where to where to drill. Now that we got that drilled, you just screw that in. Pre-drill your holes. So you do not split your wood. This is very lightweight wood. Okay, so there's a lift bar. There you go. And now it rolls. And there is a dowel. I think this is, yeah, it goes like this. So. so that's two. Okay. So, so place this on the dowel pins. And they will go in like this, but there is no screw yet again. So. You one screw extra in every pack. Oh. So this is the main latch. It is spring loaded. You can see. And there's there's no carrier for the bolt to go into on the other side. And so it's just going to attach right here. And it's gonna hold it because the bolt is in the way of the door. Okay, so now that that's on, it stays shut. And then you can open it. Okay, so the roost bars just fit in. They are not screwed in or anything. Um, so sometimes these do fall out because, you know, if there's a way for a chicken to mess something up, they will. Uh, so you might want to put a screw, say, on this end to hold these in place if you're going to use these all the time. And then this is the poop tray. And that's what we repaired it. So it's looking pretty good. And it does have little grabbers on this side. So you want to make sure that these are on the outside. Put that on in, Vicky. Okay. Oh. So now we're ready for the open house. Hi, welcome to our new chicken coop. Now we'd, what? We'd like to give you a tour. Here's this open. It does not have a latch. That latches it in place. I, I will. But we will probably be putting a latch. Oh, you we think? will absolutely. Yeah, because otherwise the wind could come, take this, and flap it open. And I'm sure this would rip apart because we've got other things that are a lot heavier that can rip apart in the yeah. wind. So these boxes right here, if we don't tie those lids down, and they're really heavy, but if we don't tie them down in a strong wind, they will flip up and over. That, so we've actually lost some 
rabbits and chickens have gotten really scared. So we will definitely have to lock this down. Uh, I think that should be that should be a change to the design to the manufacturers. Just put a simple latch that will hold that down in a wind. It's very light. So. This does close so they can have more heat in there. There's not a lot of ventilation, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, there's, there's no no airflow except coming in that hole and out and that hole. Going out here. So it is not sealed right here. If you look, so there is a little venting. That also means that rain is going to get in that slot there and snow. Yep. But of course, overall, I like box. it a lot. You do? I do. I'm Good. really happy about this, and I will probably put some, well, you know what I'm going to put, some more broody hens in here, because... How many you had this year? I'm about at 67, and I'm always looking for more, apparently, so... You might even be able to put a couple of moms in here. I might be able to. So the ad says there are 23, a little over 23 square feet. Uh, you can, Vicky, go stand by it and so get a get a perspective of a couple of humans. <laughs> so, and so. the reason that we did like this one over a lot of the other models is because it is portable. So you yes. can lift that end. So we got to move this. Let's move, move it out that. to the grass. Oh, let's let's, let's, let's button it up doors. a little bit. Close the doors, grass, Vicky. You have to lift it quite a bit to get the wheels connected to the ground but it's not too heavy is it no, no okay no. which is good we have a lot of heavy made and so it's light for a woman to be able to lift because some of us are not weight lifters and we can't move these big 300 pound boxes on our own and again the advantage of this is that it is pre-made so it'll be up the day you get it um, you can move it, and if you if you keep this in the same place for a week, you're going to have dead grass. So you do need to move them frequently. So now you can get your grass fertilized, move it around the yard, um, and not kill one spot. Um, and, you know, for a couple of hens, they can stay in here all day while you go to work, come home, let them roam around for a little bit, and lock them back up at night. So, and it's because of where this egg box is it's very easy to collect it's not not too bad for somebody as tall as i am mm -hmm. but kids can even get in here easy because has, of how tall it is it has nice uh, hardware very nice the, hardware on the side i i like the uh, i like the roof we have again we have one similar to this and we've had it about three years um we didn't purchase it it was a gift to us so, so i don't i don't know if it's from the same company but you know it, it based on the way both are made they look like they could have come out of the same factory uh, but i'm not going to say it is an ava tuvan model uh, but it has held up and uh, th there's some there's some fascia pieces that are are coming off and we've had to fix it but the Hardware cloth, which all this has hardware cloth. Yeah, which is what you need for chickens, not chicken wire. Yep. This is made with hardware cloth, which is great to keep predators out. So we've never lost a hen in that cage. No. Uh, so I like it. We're going to put some chickens in it and see how they like it. So things I really like about this coop, uh, of course, are the wheels that you can move it around. The hardware is very top quality uh, i like the fact that you can close this door on the inside without having to open anything up and by using this handle i don't think there is a need to have to coat the wood in any way because we've had something similar and it's it's been out in the weather for years and it has lasted the things i'm not wild about or i wish were changed I do wish there were pre-drilled holes for that ramp at the top. Uh, they're drilled for the carrier down below, but not up at the top. And there needs to be a latch right here, like the one that I installed, because this will, this will blow up with the wood. These hinges on the door 
they do need to be solid so it doesn't fall off okay so it takes an extra minute or two to install it but uh, you're going to save the customer a lot of anguish by putting the right hinges on so they don't fall apart in their hands all the time uh, and then of course this gap because rain will get down in there and it will get into the, the nest box the sleep area and I will probably come along and put some real thin flashing and just staple it in so that the rain just goes over and flows down that door but in all I like the coop and if you just have two three chickens and you go to work all day you want them to stay safe and you let them out at the afternoon when you get home uh, this is nice and you can move it around so your grass doesn't die so i recommend it good job so it didn't take 45 minutes but uh, we had a few distractions okay. but it's all right we, we really like this it is expandable as well we didn't talk much about that so you can buy a couple different coops and put them together and they do, do give you the hardware at, to put it together and the instructions on how to put them together. What do you think, Mickey? I thought it went together really easily. Yep. We yeah. are going to put this into service probably tonight. <laughs> yep, we'll possibly see. tonight. We'll see. <laughs> so, we're Otherwise, we'll leave it open and see how many chickens want to lay eggs in it. Alright, we are going to put a link up here and we're going to put a link in the notes where you can go buy this, use this uh, coupon Distant. code, yeah, HWA5, I believe. It'll give you 5% off when you buy through this link. Um, but if you need something that's pre-made and don't have the skills and tools to build one yourself, then it's good value. Good value, and it'll last you several years. So, All right, hey, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon on the homestead. Right, bye. bye, everyone. Watch some of our videos, you know that we make the most.